this video we shall be showing you how using the logical and and the logical or operator we can find out the leap year problem or solve the leap year problem in just about two or three lines of code this is probably the right way to write this leap year problem so this stands for the logical or operator this is the logical and so first thing what i am doing is i am asking the user to enter a year so user enters a year once the user enters a year just see what i am doing i am asking or i am doing a statement i am asking if year mod 400 is equal to 0 that means this input year is a leap year okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this particular fellow and put him here all right now what is the other condition when the year can be a leap year the other condition is if year mod 4 is equal to 0 but that year should not be a century year so what i'll say is year mod 100 is sorry not equal to 0 and year mod 4 is equal to 0 then this is an example of a leap year else quite simple else i'm going to simply write this particular stuff okay so i'm just going to delete just hold on for a second before i go ahead and explain this logic even if it's looking a little bit of mystery to you there's no mystery to it it's quite simple all right so what i'm doing here is using the logical or and the and operator i am showing you just in three lines how to calculate if an input year is a leap year or not let's say i enter the year 2000 so what happens is 2000 mod 400 sorry i forgot to put the zero is equal to zero if 2000 mod 400 is equal to zero then straight away i am going to say 2000 is a leap year and then i am going to come to return zero or halt so it takes care of the years which are multiple of 400 now what about years like 1700 so here is 1700 1700 mod 400 equal to 0 is false i come to the or condition one of these groups of statements should be true either this fellow should be true or both of this should be true 1700 mod 100 is it equal to 0 it is equal to 0 so it is definitely not equal to 0 so this condition fails so it's going to say 1700 is not a leap year Let's take the year 2004. 2004 mod 400 is equal to 0 is false. 2004 mod 100 is it 0? No, it is not equal to 0. So this condition is true. Since this condition is true, I am going to this part. 2004 mod 4 is it equal to 0? It is true. So since this part is true, I am going to print 2004 is a leap year and then I am going to halt. For any other year this condition will fail and it will say it's not a leap year so what we shall do is let's run it through a few tests so i'm going to run this particular piece of code i'm going to enter the value as 2004 first let's see what happens so it's clearly saying 2004 is a leap year because it went into this part okay it went into this part now let's try to run it with the year 2000 let's see what happens So year 2000 is entered here it is 2000 is a leap year because it only went into this part now let's try to year, enter a year like 1700 okay or let's say 1800 now it should print 1800 is not a leap year why it did that because here it went it became false but here when it came 1800 mod 100 is zero it is not equal to zero it is equal to zero so this condition became false and it is saying 1800 is not a leap year last one data run let's take our favorite example 2010 so 2010 has been entered and now if i click enter it is saying 2010 is not a leap year so this was the most elegant and simple way of trying to find out if an input year is a leap year or not using logical operators the use of logical operators relational operators and all these operators are going to be extensively applied when we're doing programs using loops and functions. In fact, in decision making, whether it's the if else statement or the switch case or the loops, 
you will be extensively using this logical operators in real life so just be sure you understand how the logical operators work okay go back and take a look at the video of how logical operators work in C and what are the results when we evaluate them.